Mayor Steam. Present. Councilmember Large Anderson. Present. Councilmember Austin. Present. Jordahl. Present. Hagen. Present. Carolyn. Present. Enright. Present. King. Present. We have a quorum, Your Honor. Okay, item number one. Apparently we're removing five. With that, we need a motion to adopt the agenda. So move. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item number two, we need a motion <coughs> for approval of the minutes from December 30 or 21st. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Item number three, under awards and recognition, Chief Brian Krieger has some news for us. Thank you, Mayor, City Council. <coughs> I would like to introduce to you the two newest hires with the Austin Police Department. It would be officers uh, 30 33 and 34 sworn. First is Nate Curtis. Nate is from uh, Grand Rapids area, graduated from high school there. He served four years with the U.S. Army, uh, got his skills training in, and this is his first law enforcement job. And we have Nathan Hafes. Uh, Nathan is from the Pine Island area, graduated from high school there, went to Rochester Community College and he has been uh, a Mauer County Jail uh, detention deputy for almost the last four years. This also is his first job in law enforcement. So I would like to welcome them uh, to the Austin Police Department. <laughs> what are their badge numbers? <laughs> one fifteen and one sixteen. Welcome. No, we've carried on from the badge numbers where Moikins was 10, Klingerman 13. We're, we're just continuing. They're 114 or 115, 116. We're just okay. continuing on. So basically the 115th and 16th officer we've hired since we started that system, which was before we started. Correct. Okay. Well, congratulations, guys. You're going to have, you got a lot to look forward to. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Now you got to stay for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get any respect. <laughs> okay, under the, con or the con we need a motion for the consent. Nope. Yeah, one more minute. So moved. Hold on, we Jeff have Weaver. Weaver. Ah, Jeff. You know, you guys have been losing this thing so long, it's easy to overlook. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. You know what? I've had to go to Albert Lee almost every year. You know, for That's true. You I, have know, I know how it feels. Well, uh, there there was there was a miscount, and much <laughs> like the Miss Universe pageant, um, <laughs> we have to switch that over. Actually, the county did yeah. in fact. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, uh, the city once again beat the county in our friendly food drive. Uh, this is the 23rd year. Uh, the grand total of food, because that's that's how. I get involved because I have to weigh this at the recycling center because we have a scale. I think I'm going to move the scale to the courthouse next year. <laughs> anyway. You'll still have to do it. <laughs> I'd probably still have to go over and do it. Anyway, the grand total for, the, for 23 years is 45,352 pounds. So uh, that's a lot of food. And of course, it's given away locally. And it's a wonderful uh, thing that the employees and then do for the for uh, the city of Austin, and uh, it's just we'd like the county to win occasionally. <laughs> and of course, the contest is super but the contest. Cool. I mean, it's really it just makes it a little more fun. So I am once again giving the plaque to the city of Austin. Thank you, right. Jeff. Get a new black, <laughs> a bigger one or a second one? Yeah, probably another one. That's so the loser of this one has to buy the new black. We got some work to do. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate Thank you. That. Now we'll do the consent agenda. Item number four. So yeah. moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. We have eliminated item number five. Six is the resolution accepting bids for. Commissioning services at the J.C. Hormel Nature Center. Kim. Thank you, Mayor. So we received uh, two <coughs> informal proposals for the commissioning, which is to watch over the HVAC, uh, the lighting, and, and how our geothermal all hooks together. 
And uh, after reviewing those um, proposals, we have recommended <coughs> that Hallberg Engineering uh, receives the proposal. So we'd like you to accept that. Questions or comments? If not, we need a resolution. So move the resolution. Second. Mr. Dankert. Councilmember Austin. Aye. Jordal. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember <coughs> Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 7 is a resolution designating depositories for checking and investment of public funds for 2016. Thomas. Annually, the City Council at their first meeting of the year needs to designate the depositories for the city's public funds. Uh, for 2016, we are using the same uh, entities that we have used in, for 2015 and prior years, including Wells Fargo being our main bank for the general fund and main banking activities. Um, also with this, within this resolution, um, you've, you're authorizing the different financial institutions that we invest our cash with. But again, there are no changes from the prior year. Need a resolution. So I'll move the resolution. Second. Mr. Dankert. Councilmember Austin. Aye. Jordal. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Number eight is a motion designating the official newspaper for the city of Austin for the year 2016. And I think we have a new reporter. Jason, maybe you want to introduce her to the rest of the council or have you already? Uh, I think I got all the council members. I didn't get the. Um, some of the other city folks, but we can certainly introduce her if you'd like. Go ahead. Yeah. Want me to, you can step up quick. This is Jordan Gerard. She just started for us today. She'll be covering city and courts and crime as her main two beats. So she'll be taking over for me covering you folks. So well, you got a good mentor there. <laughs> you'll you'll enjoy us. We talked mm -hmm. a little bit before. Thanks. Okay. Any questions on on number eight? If not, we need a motion. So moved. Their second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nine is resolution receiving feasibility report and calling a hearing for February 16, 2016 for street improvements on Main Street and 3rd Avenue Southwest Project 1A16. Stephen, apparently we have a bunch of them. I don't know if you, how you want to handle that. I will just do one at a time. <laughs> Does that sound good? Well, sometimes you, you yeah. group them together. If they're no, separate. these are fairly uh, individual, so each one's a little bit different. Um, but all these feasibility reports uh, were recommended to our office back in uh, on December 7th. We present those to council, the list of projects, and a report that this project is feasible. Um, it is a, a state aid project. And with this project, um, in order to meet state aid requirements, we will be rebuilding the roadways to meet um, the, those state aid requirements, but yet adjacent property owners are still only assessed based on our residential assessment rates. So they're not penalized for living on a state aid street um, and having to pay for extra infrastructure costs. In this case, uh, Third Avenue and South Main Street. Uh, South Main is going to be reconstructed with a concrete pavement. We'll also look at the underground infrastructure, the uh, storm sewer and uh, sanitary sewer and determine at this time if any of those need to be upgraded. Uh, Austin Utilities will also redo the water main on this stretch, uh, this two block stretch of South Main. Same thing for Third Avenue. The only difference there is that's going back as an asphalt roadway. Uh, we will be widening it slightly from its current condition. I believe it's 30 feet in width right now. And we will be widening it to 34. So we're widening it about two feet on each side. And with that design that will allow for um, both, both the Main Street section and the 3rd Avenue section will allow for one lane of traffic in each direction and one parking lane. So later on in the council agenda, we will look to uh, restrict parking on one side of the road for both of those roadways to meet that design. And Austin Utilities, again on 3rd Avenue, will look at water main replacement the entire length and we will uh, improve all the pedestrian curb ramps, making them uh, ADA compatible. With that, uh, we've estimated a project cost of $925,000, with a large portion of that coming from um, municipal state aid. Again, both of these are state aid streets. And uh, wastewater treatment plant fund would take care of some of our sanitary sewer needs, and then our stormwater fund for our stormwater needs. With well. that, uh, we'd recommend um, setting public hearing for February 16th, 2016.
Okay, any questions? If not, we need the resolution for item number nine. So, so move the resolution. Second. Mr. Danker. Council Member Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Council Member Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Adam Tennant's resolution receiving feasibility report and calling for a hearing for February 16, 2016, for street improvements on 3rd Street Northwest, 6th Place. Northwest and 7th place Northwest project 2A16. Yes, the area you described there is uh, kind of west of the YMCA and um, south of the Austin Medical Center. We call it the places. It's a small section of roadways that are um, named places in that Northwest area. And most of those roads in that area were constructed back in the 1950s. So we will come in and, and do a full reconstruction with new curb and gutter, new roadway. We, we will be widening the roadways a little bit. I believe most of those are about 30 feet in width. And again, um, the, the third street will be 32 feet in width. And then the places, sixth place and seventh place, we're looking at 36 feet in width to make extra room for parking. Uh, this is more of a residential roadway section with four and a half inches of asphalt and six inches of aggregate base. Uh, again, we'll look at the storm sewer and the sanitary sewer and Austin Utilities plans to do water main replacement. We have met with them on all these projects to look at what they are planning as well, try to incorporate all that underground work all at the same time. So this project cost, we've estimated $725,000 and it would be paid for with assessment bonds and then again that wastewater treatment plant and stormwater fund. Any questions on 10? If not, we need a resolution. So move the resolution. Is there a second? second? Mr. Anchor? Council Member Austin. Aye. Jordan. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Council Member Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Item number 11 is a resolution receiving feasibility report and calling for a hearing for February 16, 2016 for street improvements in the Woodson School Area, Project 3A16. Stephen. Yeah, as you described, um, the general area is down by Woodson School, and we're looking at splitting this into a two-year project. So the, the 2016 phase would be 6th Street Southeast, 16th Avenue Southeast to the dead end, which is which is to the north, which is just north of 13th Avenue, so about four blocks there. And then 16th Avenue Southeast from 6th Street to 8th Drive. Uh, again, looking at uh, another phase would then follow in 2017, but we want to make sure that we provide traffic access as much as possible to these residents and not do a larger project and impact them. So the 2016 portion of the project would involve mainly uh, uh, asphalt replacement and a new aggregate base section. The, the curb and gutter is in fairly good condition. We'll try to leave that in place wherever possible. But we will again look at storm sewer and sanitary sewer. We have a lot of groundwater infiltration in this area so we anticipate some extensive sanitary sewer work down here. Um, Austin Utilities again will replace the water main. And then we'll look with uh, Woodson School, we'll look at um, pedestrian curb ramps in specific areas. We'll also look at, as we've done in the past in that Woodson School area, we'll look at filling in any missing links with sidewalk. There are um, just a couple sections where there may be one property owner that doesn't have sidewalk and we'll look to get that piece filled in for the, the students in that area if they may be walking to school. Uh, estimated cost for this 2016 phase is $550,000, uh, again being paid for with assessment bonds and then our wastewater treatment plant and stormwater utility districts. Questions? Comments? If not, we need a resolution for 11. So moved. Mm -hmm. Second. Mr. Danker. Council Member Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 12 is a resolution receiving feasibility report and calling a hearing for February 16, 2016, for street improvements for the South Crane Edition Phase 2, Project 4A16. Stephen. This is a similar project that I just described, except for this is the second year of a two a two year project. We did one one phase uh, this year in 2015, and this will be the finish up work in 2016. 
Um, so much of the work, much of the neighborhood, people are familiar with the construction process and what's going on out there. Uh, in this area, there's actually no curb and gutter, really poor drainage. So we'll, we'll be looking at reconstructing uh, the entire roadway, new asphalt pavement and curb and gutter. Um, approximate width of the new roadways will be 32 feet. Uh, again, um, most of the storm sewer work was completed this year in 15, but we will look at anything necessary in 2016 as part of the storm sewer. Uh, sanitary sewer, again, we have some high infiltration in this area, so we will look at some extensive sanitary sewer work, whether that be lining the sewers or replacement. We'll evaluate those costs and make that determination. Um, and then Austin Utilities, again, as they did this year, we'll look at water main replacement and some overhead uh, power line removal. They did extensive work this year, and it will limit the amount of work that they need to do here in 2016. This uh, second year of this two-year project, we've estimated at $550,000, and again, those same three funding sources. Thank you. Anybody questions, comments? Not. We need a resolution for item 12. So move the resolution. <coughs> Second. Mr. Danker. Councilmember Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 13 is resolution receiving feasibility report and calling a hearing for February 16, 2016, for street improvements on 4th Drive Southwest, Project 5A16. Stephen? This project is a unique project where it's a joint, we're doing it jointly with the county. Um, the city will be working on to develop the project in the city <coughs> limits, and the county will develop the project outside of the city limits, taking it south to, I believe, County Road 28. Um, so we're working closely with the county on this project. And it, we also have some federal funding going toward this project, which makes it unique as well. So uh, this existing roadway was constructed in 1936 and was resurfaced in 1985. It's very narrow. We're getting a lot of pedestrian traffic out in that area on, on a narrow 22 to 24 foot wide roadway. So what we're planning on doing with um, the city section for sure is uh, removing the ditches, lowering the roadway, installing curb and gutter, and we're looking at lighting and also a trail to be constructed on the west side of the road or more the residential side of the roadway. Um, we will also look at extending sanitary sewer south of the city limits, going south to the, the most southerly property, which is 2706 4th Drive Southwest. And then um, as those parcels um, wish to hook into the sanitary sewer, they would then be charged our sanitary sewer hookup fee. Uh, we'll also look at um, ADA compliance as part of this project with the federal funding involved. And Austin Utilities, as we've met with them, they, they believe their water, water system is in good shape out here. They do not plan on any water main work. And um, there may be a little bit of electrical work. This um, project is estimated a cost of $1,375,000. Again, we have that federal grant in the amount of $1,040,000. Uh, some state aid costs of $260,000. And then the wastewater treatment plant cost for extending that sanitary sewer to the south. Those are the three funding sources for this project and adjacent property owners, and I apologize I didn't say that on the previous ones, but abutting uh, property owners will be assessed for all these projects based on our city assessment policy. Thank you. Questions, comments? If not, we need a resolution. So moved. Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 14 is a resolution. Receiving feasibility report and calling a hearing for February 16, 2016, for alley improvements for the alley west of Main Street from 3rd Avenue South, Project 1C16. Steven. Yeah, this is the last one, and, and we started doing downtown alley <coughs> reconstruction the last few years. Um, this alley would be located behind. Piggy Blues, between Piggy Blues, and it, it's a dead end alley because US Bank goes over this alley on the south end. So uh, looking at the cost from this year, the things that we encountered with our alley project this year that we did behind Ride Your Bike, uh, we learned some things with that. 
and we'll incorporate those into this new project, but it'll be complete replacement of the, the pavement in the alley. We'll go back with concrete pavement. We'll improve the drainage away from the buildings. Um, and we'll also construct new storm sewer. We have a lot of storm sewer issues in these alleys with uh, the heavy trucks and things that go through there for garbage removal. The estimated cost for the alley is $95,000 with um, $70,000 coming from the CIP revolving fund and about $25,000 paid for as part of the stormwater um, storm sewer utility district. And this project would be looked at as a maintenance project and we would not assess the adjacent property owners. Council, if there's nothing, we need a resolution for 14. So moved. Second. Mr. Nankert. Council Member Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Council Member Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 15 is a motion approving parking restrictions on South Main Street. Yep, there's, so as I talked about with those um, designs for South Main and also for Third Avenue, which is the next item on the agenda, um, they will require us to restrict parking. And on South Main from Second Avenue to Third Avenue, parking is already restricted on the west side. So we would like to um, present to council a formal um, resolution restricting parking on the west side of South Main Street from 2nd Avenue to 3rd Avenue. Council, we need a motion. So moved. Here's second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 16 is a motion approving parking restriction on 3rd Avenue Southwest. Yeah, there's, there's currently parking allowed on both sides of 3rd of Avenue. It's only 30 feet wide. We're going to build the new roadway 34 feet wide, but still to meet state aid requirements, we have to restrict parking on one side. So in order to match other roadways in that area, we would recommend restricting the parking on, make sure I get this right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> south side. Thank you. Restricting the parking on the south side of 3rd Avenue from Main Street to 4th Street Southwest. Okay, council, we need a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. 17 is a resolution granting the transfer of an on sale 3 2 beer license from the Chen China Star Inc. to Everbright Inc. DBA China Star. Um, Self explanatory, I think. Does anybody have any questions on it? And if not, we need a resolution. So moved. Second. Mr. Danker. Councilmember Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. And finally, 18 is a resolution granting a wine, strong beer on, license, on sale license to Piggy Blues Barbecue, Inc. Uh, we need a resolution. So move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. second. Mr. Dankert. Councilmember Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Hagen. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 7 0, Your Honor. Now we are come to the point of citizens addressing the council. There's only one citizen here, Sandy. It's not business for here for business. Do you have anything you want to address us on? No, I made a New Year's resolution to pay closer attention. So I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you started out right. Okay, well, then we're to reports and recommendations. We'll start with Jeremy tonight. Nothing, Your Honor. David. Nothing, Your Honor. Mike. Nothing, Your Honor. Janet. My usual uh, encouragement to visit the city website and uh, check out the links to uh, Paint the Town Pink and some of the other things that are going on in Austin to get more information. I have nothing, Your Honor. Nothing, Your Honor. Nothing, Your Honor. Wow. Uh, yes, the only thing we did, uh, MPC has uh, hired a community liaison person, Joel Peck. We'll meet with him this week. Uh, members at the wastewater plant and mayor and myself will meet with him to try to explain some of our concerns. Yep, uh, two o'clock in the afternoon to express some of our concerns with the wastewater regulations and what it would impact Austin. So they're supposed to hear what's going on in local government. So we thought we'd share with what's going on here in Austin. Okay, any reports? No. All right, with that, then we need a motion to adjourn until Tuesday, January 19th. So moved. 
Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Take a short break. Aye.